Welcome to WD Toys. Wow, guys, it's great to see you again. I'm so glad you came back. We're going to have another awesome toy unboxing today. Today is the first one of the Hero Mashers from the Star Wars The Force Awakens movie. And this one is awesome. It's the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter with a pilot. Wow. This thing is con converts, as you can see from the front here. It's got a missile that flies out of the front, and it does come with a Special Forces TIE Fighter pilot. So that is cool. It says, make your mashups. And here's some of the other ones. A Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, uh, you got Poe Dameron's Resistance Pilot and Fighter, which I'll be doing a review on that one next. And then Gara Zab Oralios. Wow, this is awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and open this up. But before I do, guys, make sure at the end of the video, you listen for the secret words and put them down in the comments. That means you're part of my club and we're going to have a lot of fun together. Those that have done it in the past, keep doing it and keep listening for the secret words and put it in there. I'll know you watched the whole video and you're a true fan. Okay, let's see exactly what was in the box before it's all opened up. Wow, look at that, guys. That is cool. There you have the first resistance fighter, and the TIE fighter pilot, and everything. Wow, let's go ahead and put this thing together and have some fun. Okay, guys, this TIE Fighter Hero Masher set is really awesome! Boy, I like this one. It looks so cool. Let's first go ahead and take a look at the TIE Fighter itself, and then we will convert it, and then we'll take a look at the figure. So we're going to start here on the wings. I mean, they did a really good job with the wings, and it has almost like tires inside here that actually... It's like a big tire that actually spins. So let's go ahead and take a little closer look at it. Because they did great detail with all the molding and everything on the wings. I mean these are all 3D effect pop outs and everything. They look really cool. For a Hero Masher set, I mean they put a lot of detail into this. And then let's take a look at the other side of it. Okay, here is the look at the other side of the wings. And then we'll take a look at the main body of it. Here you've got, uh, it looks like some type of, oh, this would be like the rotating blaster here. It does not rotate. I mean, it is fixed there. It, it is a Hero Masher set, so it is a little bit limited. And then here you've got like the front, like uh, the big glass, like cockpit window there. And here you would have like blasters here. They got like a, red inside so f to show them like firing then here you do it have an actual cannon on the bottom uh okay it does not rotate but you could turn it either direction because it pops right off if you want you could turn it facing the back or you could turn it facing the front which is pretty typical on these hero mashers they don't have a lot of rotating parts so this would be a look at the cannon from the bottom Let's go ahead and pop it off, and then it is firing, so it does have like a nice little green missile there. So then you push the fire button and it fires it off. And to fire it off, you got a button here, so you simply push it, and it fires it at pretty good velocity for a Hero Masher set. So let's check out, take a look at that again. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, let's continue on with this. Here would be a look at the bottom of it. And then let's take a look at the other side of it. The other side of it here, you've got like a typical uh, look for the TIE wing fighter. And then here, like I said, you could move this cannon to the other side. So depending on which side you want to fire, 
you could put the cannon on. And then here you would have like a in, look at the interior of it. Which, I mean, it's a little plain in there. I mean, it does have a textured look at the bottom. But that's where, like, the X-Wing fighter would fit in. I mean, he is an oversized figure, so, I mean, he would just stand in here. Which, I mean, it, it's a little weird, but that's pretty much how the Hero Mashers is set up. Now, let's go ahead and convert this. The convert conversion process is really easy and cool. Basically, these wings fold down flat there. And then this whole bubble actually pops right out of. It pulls right out of there. Here's a look at the bubble unattached. And then it's got two holes on the front here. And it's got two holes on the back here. So you would attach it here. And then here you got another cool like looking battle vehicle look at that thing i mean it's got wheels here it's got like the uh the main bubble here and it's got like flat wings so here you got a whole new ship so that is really cool i mean i love how easily this thing folds down and turns into a new ship then if simply if you want to do it back you pull that off you pop it back in you fold the wings out like really fast and simple and you got the classic look so that is awesome then let's go ahead and take a look at the figure and this is the first order tie fighter pilot so he looks really cool i mean he is all dressed in black he's very mysterious looking let's take a look at him first of all his arm will turn at the elbow 360 degrees it does bend at the elbow and his whole arm also turns 360 degrees and then his head uh, okay so you could take the uh, actual head off let's take a look at the head first I mean it's got the typical tie wing fighter fighter pilot look there and then it will turn 360 degrees this thing does pop out of his chest so you could pull the head off if you want to which is very typical on these uh, Hero Master ones because you could put different heads and make them really fun looking or really cool looking. And then here they did a good job with the coloring on his chest. It's like the blue, the white, and the red dials and everything. And then they put, he's got like a molded belt on his waist. And then his legs will also turn 360 degrees because they got that ball joint in there his knee joint will turn 360 degrees and he's got like holds here you could attach like different accessories and weapons and stuff so that's cool and then he's got the holes on the side of his arms also and in the back so you could put like a jet pack on him or a lot of cool different stuff and then let's see what's detachable on him so to take his head off, you would simply pop this off here. You could pull his head right off. So you could switch it out with different heads. And then his hands will pull off at the elbow. And then his legs will pull off at the knee. And then his whole thigh also pulls off. So, I mean, you could take this guy down to a lot of different pieces and then attach different stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take some of my Jurassic World dinosaur parts and combine it with him. Okay, here we're going to combine him with the Indominus Rex. So here, look, he's got a big Indominus Rex head. And then we could go ahead and pop the Indominus Rex's feet and legs right onto him. And we could also put on the Indominus Rex's arms. So here... You have a really funny looking TIE pilot. <laughs> Boy, that is awesome. Or if you want, you could leave the dinosaur parts and put his head back on. It could be like a modified, like, part person, part dinosaur figure. That is awesome. I mean, these Hero Master sets really test your imagination. I mean, you could create so many different things. That's one of the reasons I really like these Hero Masher sets.
Okay, then here he is all put back together. And let's take a look at how he actually fits into this TIE Fighter. Into the X-Wing. Into the TIE Fighter. Wow. That looks awesome. The only bad thing is he is like comically oversized. Which that's very typical for the Hero Master sets. And then guys, today's secret word is gray. Spelled G-R-E-Y. Make sure you leave that in the comment section down below and I'll know that you're a part of my club and we'll have a lot of fun together and keep listening for the secret words and put them in the comments then I will know that you're a true part of the club and that you really enjoy these videos. Well guys, I hope to see you soon. Wow guys, that was so much fun. Well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you wait till this video ends, there's an awesome end card. A lot more fun videos with Jurassic World and Peppa Pig and Minions and Star Wars and Good Dinosaur. Well, I hope to see you soon.